All right, hello folks, and welcome to another brief tutorial uh, from the AMP Futures Help Desk. Uh, today we're looking at CQG mobile application, mobile platform. It's web-based, and uh, we're going to show you really quick how to add the new Hang Seng indexes that were just released by CQG on their data feed for you to trade. Okay, so we're going to show you how to add that. Um, as you see front and center, we have uh, symbols, we've got the S&P, we've got the NASDAQ. Let's go ahead and add uh, these new symbols. So we're going to click enter symbols. So let's go ahead and click on that. We can search for it. And let's see what we can come up with on our search. What it, that's trying to put in the hang. Hansen index. There it is, HSI. Okay, so it already tells us what we need to know right there, HSI. So we can back out of this. Now we know it's HSI. Let's go ahead and put in HSI K is going to be the front month, okay, and we're going to make sure you add 8 on that, okay, and then when you hit enter, there's the Hang Seng Index for May. All right, let's add another one. We're going to hit the plus again. We're going to go to search symbols, and this we want to work to mini, so we're going to put an M on that one. So we're going to go M, H-I-K-8, okay, and click OK. And that one is added there. Hit the plus again. Let's try to do the search again this time. Now we're looking for the Hang Seng China shares. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and add that one. We're going to go to H, and you can see it right there, the H shares index. So we know it's HH, so we're going to go to HHIK8 for that one and hit enter. And then the last one is going to be the mini version of that shares index. So we're going to go again and hit quotes, okay? And let's go and look for M. Let's see if we can find it here. And look at that, so easy, go down. Mini H shares index. As soon as you put the M in, CQG just added it, so it's right there. So we know that it's MCH, except this one trades in the June MCH M8, and click OK, and there you go. There's the new contracts right there. Okay. Um, what you could do too is you can jump over to charts. Okay. And let's say we want a candlestick chart for that one. Okay. And then you can drag this box and drop to place it on the uh, candles window of the chart. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to do this. I want to. We're going to open up a new chart. Let's just choose one of these real quick. Okay. So what we did is we put up, pulled up a chart over here in the corner. You'll see H S I K eight. Okay, 60-minute chart. You can change that. Certainly, the time frames on that one. Um, let's add another chart. Let's go ahead and hit add a new widget. And we want candlestick charts. So we're going to go ahead and choose a candlestick. Okay, we're going to open that up. All right, so what I did was I moved it over to the middle. Just by dragging the outer edge, you can see that right there. You can actually move this. You can thin it out. Um, okay, you can drag the outer edge, and you can pretty much move this chart anywhere you want. So I'm dropping it in the middle. And now then I'm going to go down here, okay, and then there's all of the symbols that we just added. So if I want to MHIK, there's the chart. Again, click in this window. If I want the, the mini, that's the China shares, okay. And there you go. Okay, so to add a chart, you're going to add a widget, choose a candle. And then drag it across the platform and put it to where, where you want to put it. All right, let's get a uh, let's add one more widget. Let's add the uh, an order ticket here. All right, so we're going to scroll down our list here, and here's the hybrid order ticket. We're going to click on that. There's the order ticket there, and likewise, it'll pop up because we have the chart on the HSI. Let's go ahead and. As you see, just click in the window there at the bottom, and it will change to the late, to the contract that you've chosen, okay? Now, again, these markets are very thin right now. 
Um, they should pick up uh, after the U.S. session closes, uh, 8 o'clock uh, tonight, which is uh, Central Standard Time. So you can check it and see what type of activity is there. These are new uh, available to U.S. traders. So take your time with it. Learn um, how to set up things that you want. Watch the activity, the volume, and things like that. Okay? So that shows you how to set this up on CQG Mobile. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call. 1-800-560-1640, uh, extension 1, AMS Help Desk. We'll be more than happy to uh, help you get set up. Thanks again for your attention, and happy trading.